みなさん、こんにちは。Welcome back to 日本語。元気ですか ?This is part 2 of みなの日本語 Intermediate Lesson 10. Before we begin, make sure to check out part 1 of this lesson. In this video, we will learn about compound verbs, meaning combining two verbs. はい、準備できたら、始めましょう。First grammar point is nani nani dasu. The verb dasu is a transitive verb that means to take out, to get out, or to get something out, or to submit. In the past, we've learned some words that contain the word dasu. This indicates that the action moves from inside going out. For example, the verb kashi dasu. Kashimas means to lend, right? When we say kashi dasu, it becomes to rent out. Another example is the verb hiki dasu. Hikimas means to pull something, right? When we say hiki dasu, it becomes to withdraw, meaning we withdraw money from the bank. So again, there is a movement of action from inside going out. Another example is tori dasu. Torimas means to take. Tori dasu means to take something out. And last example is kangai dasu. So from the verb kangai mas, to think. Kangai dasu means to come up with something, to come up with an idea. Now, another meaning when we pair dasu with another verb is it indicates the beginning or when an action starts or commence. Meaning to begin to or to start to or to burst into or to verb out. So, how do we use this pattern? We can use it with, of course, verbs. Verbs should be in mass form. For example, the verb naku or to cry. We change it to mass form, naki mas. And then we have to remove mas. So, we are left with naki. And then we add dasu, naki dasu, meaning to start crying or to burst into tears, naki dasu. Another example is amega furimas. Amega furimas. So we remove mas. Amega furi, and then we add dasu. Amega furi dasu, meaning to start raining. So let's take a look at some more examples on how to use this pattern. For example, I was startled when my brother burst out laughing while he was on the phone. We say, Ototo ga denwa chu ni kyu ni. My brother was on the phone, and then suddenly, our verb is to laugh, which is warai mas. We remove mas, we get the stem, so we get warai plus dasu. In this case, we are talking about past tense, so we say dashta. Um, this is the reason, so it's followed by no de. Because my brother burst out laughing, I was startled. We say, Watashi wa bikuri shita. Ototo ga denwa chu ni kyu ni warai dashita no de, watashi wa bikuri shita. Another example, the baby suddenly burst into tears or started crying. I wonder what's wrong. Aka chan ga kyu ni, the baby suddenly. Our verb is to cry, which is nakimas. We say naki plus dasu. Naki dashta. Again, this is in past tense. And then followed by I wonder what's wrong. Doshitan daro? Aka chan ga kyu ni naki dashita. Doshitan daro? Next example. Suddenly it began to rain. We say, kyu ni, suddenly. Our verb is to rain, which is, ame ga furimas. We get the stem, which is, ame ga furi, plus, dashimashita. So we use the formal form. Instead of, dashita, we can say, dashimashita. Kyu ni, ame ga furi dashimashita. Another example, I was surprised when the doll's hand suddenly started to move. Ningyo no te ga kyu ni. The doll's hand suddenly, our verb is to move. 
which is ugokimas. We get the stem, ugoki, and then we add dashita. So suddenly started moving. When the doll's hand started to move, I was surprised. Dashita toki bikuri shita. Ningyo no te ga kyu ni ugoki dashita toki bikuri shita. Now, this pattern cannot be used for inviting or requesting someone to do something. For example, in this sentence, when father comes, let's start eating. So this is an invitation because let's start eating. We cannot say, otousan ga kitara tabe dashimashou. So here, nani nani shio is the grammar point for invitation. Let's do something. We cannot use uh, dasu here, but instead we can say tabe hajime masho. Tabe hajime masho, hajimeru, which we will learn later on after this one. Another example, please start doing your homework. So here we have a request. Please do this. We cannot say shukudai o yari dashite kudasai. So yarimas, yari dashite kudasai. But instead we can use Yari hajimete kudasai. Again, hajimeru. Shuko da yo, yari hajimete kudasai. Next is using nani nani hajimeru, nani nani owaru, nani nani tsuzukeru. First is the verb hajimeru. Hajimeru is a transitive verb meaning to start, to commence, or to initiate. Next is the verb owaru, which is an intransitive verb. That means to finish, to end, or to close. And lastly is suzukeru, which is a transitive verb meaning to continue, to keep on, or to keep up. So we can use this to add to another verb and form a compound verbs. Now, when we add hajimeru to another verb, it means that to start verb or to start to do something. When we add owaru, it means to finish doing something. And of course, suzukeru, it means to continue doing something. Just like how we use dasu, we also use this with just the stem form of the verb. Again, stem means removing mass from the verb and then we attach hajimeru, owaru, or suzukeru. So let's take a look at some examples on how to use this pattern. For example, when I was seven years old, I started learning to play the piano. Nanasai no toki, piano o, our verb is to learn something, which is naraimas. We get the stem, narai, plus to start. Hajime mashita. Since we have this sentence in past tense, Nanasai no toki, piano narai hajimemashita. Next example. Oh no, I started gaining weight. I have to go on a diet. Taijo means weight, and our weight is increasing, which is fue mas. We get the stem, fue. It starts to increase. We say fue hajimete yabai. Because of this, because my weight is starting to gain weight, I feel um, worried. Yabai. Daijo fue hajimete yabai. I have to go on a diet. Daieto shinakya. So, as you can see, this is a very informal sentence. Maybe the speaker is talking to her friends. Next example Shota, please sit down until everyone else has finished eating. We have finished eating. We say, Shota, hoka no hito ga. Our verb is to eat. Tabemas. Tabe, and then we followed it by to finish eating. Finish is owaru. Tabe owaru until everyone else has finished eating. So, made. Shota, hoka no hito ga. Tabe owaru made. Please sit down. Chanto suwate nasai. Chanto suwate nasai. 
So as you can see, the mother is talking to her son. Shota hoka ni to ga tabe owaru made chanto suwate nasai. Next example, they will soon finish building the house. Kare ra wa mou sugu ie o to build is to tatemasu. Tate plus to finish. Owaru. And then, since this is in the future, will, will happen, we can add the show. Kare ra wa mou sugu ie o tate owaru de show. They will soon finish the house or they will soon finish building the house. Next example. For 40 years, my father continued to work for his family. Chichi wa yonju nengan. For 40 years, father for his family. Kazoku no tame ni. Our verb is to work, which is hatarakimasu. We get the stem, hataraki, plus continue, tsuzukeru, tsuzukemashita. So, continued to work. So, it's in the past. Chichi wa 40 nengan kazoku no tame ni hataraki tsuzukemashita. And last example, continue looking at the screen for a long time is bad for your eyes. Or, looking at the screen for a long time is bad for your eyes. Nagai jikan gameo. So for a long time, the screen or to look at the screen is mimas. Our verb is to look mimas mi, and then continue to look continuously or to look for a long time. Mi tsuzukeru plus to meni waru. So. When you look at the screen for a long time, it will be bad for your eyes. Nagai jikan game wo mitsuzukeru to me ni warui. Now, we can say it started raining in two ways. We can say ame ga furi dashimashita using the first verb which is dasu. We can also say hajimeta. Ame ga furi hajimeta. They both mean the same thing. The action just started. Another example, once I start eating, I can't or I don't stop. Tabe dashtara, when I start eating or once I start eating, tomaranai. I cannot stop or I don't stop. We can also use the verb hajimetara. Tabe hajimetara, tomaranai. So they both mean the same thing. Our last set of compound verbs are nani nani wasureru, nani nani ao, and nani nani kaeru. The verb wasureru is a transitive verb meaning to forget something. The verb ao is an intransitive verb meaning to come together or to fit. And the verb kaeru is a transitive verb meaning to replace or exchange. So how do we use this pattern? Again, we use the stem form of the verb. For example, nani nani wasureru, to forget to do something. For example, keshimasu, to turn off something. We say, keshi wasureru, meaning to forget to turn off something. Next is nani nani ao, to do something with each other or to do something together. For example, taskemasu, to help. If we want to say to help each other, we say taske ao. And lastly, nani nani kaeru, to replace or to exchange. So if we want to say to change or replace something by doing something, uh, we use nani nani kaeru. For example, if we want to say to transfer trains or to change trains, we use the verb norimas to ride. If we say we want to change train by riding a different train, we say norikairu, norikairu, which means to transfer trains. So let's take a look at some examples on how to use this pattern. For example, recently my grandmother often forgets to turn off the gas, so I'm worried. Saikin sobo wa yoku gasu wo, our verb is to turn off. Turn off is 
Keshimas. We say Keshi, we get the stem. Keshi plus to forget. Wasureru. So we say Wasureru to forget to turn off. No de. So we are giving um, reason. Because she often forgets to turn off the gas, I'm worried. Shinpai da. Saikin sobo wa yoku gasu wo keshi wasureru no de. Shinpai da. Next example, I forgot to lock my house. We say, ie no kagi or my house key. So to lock something is kagi o kakemas. So our verb is kakemas. We get the stem, kagi o kake, plus to forget, or in this case, to forgot. Wasurete shimaimashita. So shimaimashita is indicates that the speaker regrets the action. Ie no kagi o kake wasurete shimaimashita. Next. Let's help each other when we are in trouble. So to do something to each other or to do something together. Komatta toki wa in case or in times of trouble, otagai ni, so to each other. Otagai ni means to do to each other. And then our verb is to help, which is taske mas. We get that stem. Taske plus ao. So, meaning to do something together or to do something to each other. In this case, help each other. Taske ai masho. So, since it says let's help, so let's is nani nani masho. Komata toki wa otagai ni taske ai masho. Next example. As long as you love each other, Nothing else matters. The verb is to love, which is aishimas. Aishimas. We get the stem, aishi, plus to do to each other is au. In this case, we say atteireba, as long as you love. So as for as long as you love each other, aishi atteireba. Hoka ni nani mo mondai wa arimasen. Or sore de i. That's all that matters. Aishi aite ireba hoka ni nani mo mondai wa arimasen. Next example. Does this train go to Tokyo Station? Kono densha de Tokyo eki made ikemasu ka? No, please transfer to line 2 at Shinjuku Station. We say, iie Shinjuku eki. Niban sen ni. So at Shinjuku station on platform number two, we say transfer or to change. So this time we are going to use kairu. But what verb do we use? We use norimas to ride. We don't have to put it in English here to please ride and transfer. But in Japanese, we say norimas. We get the stem nori. Plus, kairu. Or in this case, please transfer. So we say, kaite kudasai. So, nori kaite kudasai. Ride, change. That's the literal meaning. Which means to transfer trains. Ie, Shinjuku eki, niban sen ni nori kaite kudasai. And for our bonus grammar point, we have nani nani to you. Koto ni naru. This expression is used to state a condition or reason. And then, because of this, it describes its natural consequence or conclusion. Meaning, if it is a certain condition, it follows that or it would mean that or it would result in. We can use this pattern with verbs in plain form, e adjectives, Na adjectives plus da and nouns plus toyu koto ni naru. So this literally means uh, to become something. Nani nani ni naru. So let's take a look at some examples. Unless 
10 people apply, this tour will be cancelled. The condition is there should be at least 10 people to apply. Otherwise, this is the um, consequence. The tour will be cancelled. We say, Moshikomo hito ga 10 ijou ni naranakereba. So it must be 10 people and above or else. And the consequence will be, this tour will be cancelled. Kono tsua wa. To be cancelled or cancelled is a noun. We say, chushi. Chushi meaning cancelled. Plus, toyu koto ni naru. Moshikomito ga junin ichou ni naranakereba, kono tsua wa chushi toyu koto ni naru. Next example. If he is late today, it means that he has been late for three days in a row. Kyo kare ga okuretara or okurereba. If he is late again today, then it would mean that he has been late for three days in a row. Mikka, three days, suzukete okureta. Again, our verb is to be late, okureta, in plain form. Instead of okuremashita, plain form, okureta. Plus, toyu koto ni naru. Kyo kare ga okureta ra mikka tsuzukete okureta toyu koto ni naru. And last example. If you were born in 1996, that means you are the same age as me. Sen kyu hiyaku kyu ju roku nen umare to yu koto wa. If you were born in 1996, you are the same age as me. Watashi to onaji toshi. Same age as me. To yu koto ni naru de shou. Sen kyu yaku kyu ju roku nen umare to yu koto wa. Now it's time for you to try. Try to complete the sentence. Heya no blank no de mado o aketa mama ni shite kudasai. We have to change the air in the room so leave the windows open. So using compound verbs have to change the air, please answer the blank space. Write your answers in the comment section below. Hai, otsukare sama deshita. Kyo no lesson wa dou deshita ka? Yaku ni tatta ra like button no oshite kudasai. Moshi komento to ka tsumon ga reba, zei shita ni kaite kudasai ne. I hope you learned something today. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future lessons. And if you want to support this channel even more, please consider becoming my Patreon through my Patreon page where you can get the lesson PDF and other study materials. And to all my Patreons, hontoni arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much for your continued support. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. I will see you in the next one. Mata ne! Thank you to our elite scholars, Cornelius, Constantine, and Kaylee. And to our study buddies, Paul, Taras, Jimmy, Stephanie, DM, Mark Anthony, Peggy. And to all our Nihongo students, Hontoni, Arigato gozaimasu.